welcome Cancer Rose Burnett here and this is your monthly reading for the 15th of February through to the 15th of March uh, we're going to be looking at your energies and diving deep into those big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly you're rocking awesome if you enjoy my videos and you want to join our community make sure to hit that subscribe button so my videos come through to you in your feed let's dive in so I'm going to pull you essential energy from the nature's whispers oracle and let's see what you need to know and if you want to check out my beautiful journals it's got the art on the cover you can also get them in a task planner they're running below this video i'll also put a link on this uh, video to my elysium gallery website where there's lots of canvas and acrylic prints as well go and check it out all right cancer let's dive in oh you've got the message to get to higher ground to see things from a different perspective so there may be something troubling you often when we get stuck in the problem right we can't see the solutions around so it's about looking at it from a different way but we'll dive deeper into that all right let's have a look at four key areas of focus with the uh, sacred destiny oracle and then pull you lots of clarifiers well, you got the message to be flexible flexible patient go with the flow and you've also got the truth, seeing the truth in the storms and the challenges that you're being faced. So how you how are you contributing to those challenges? What do you need to face, perhaps that you're not facing? What do you need to see about other people or situations? Yeah, because you need to find some inner peace. It feels like there's a lot going on with you, Cancer, in terms of distractions, people trying to, you know, tap into your energy. There's just a lot of busyness going on around you. Spirit's calling for you to have faith and trust that things are going to work out okay, things are going to smooth out. All right, let's amp this up with some crystals. All right, let's put you some uh, clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at flexibility. Mm, you got the garden and the gate. So some of you pondering your next steps, holding yourself back a bit from life, perhaps procrastinating over decisions you need to make. And everything you want's on the other side of that gate. Yeah, there's a need. Spirit's saying don't rush into any decision making. There's a need for you to take some time out for rest and relaxation. Recharge your batteries. Mm. You've got this beautiful cornucopia coming in. You're at this pivotal point, Cancer, where I think you're worrying that things are not going to turn out, whether it's your finances, whether it's some aspect of your life that you would like to change, to improve. And you're on the cusp of it. You can't see it coming. Spirit saying it's coming in. Major blessings coming into your life. And you've just got to trust yourself and trust your intuition, particularly knowing and in the knowing that things are going to be okay. All right, let's have a look at the truth, seeing the truth in the storms. Mm, Spirit saying you just need to rely on your strength at this time. Take some time out for self. Rely on your strength. You've also got your community here, which is your friendship. So there's a lot of support around you. Some of you possibly building a community. Now, that community is going to bring in major blessings, particularly when it comes to your abundance. And it can also be just the level of joy and happiness it brings into your life. You've also got your solar plexus chakra here, which is your life force energy. So you've got to rejuvenate yourself and make sure you've got enough energy, get enough rest. Let's have a look at finding inner peace. Again, the message to trust yourself, trust your intuition. And you've pulled yin and yang, which is knowing when to take action, when to rest. Uh, balancing all aspects of self, masculine, feminine energies. Because mm, you've got envy here, so which can represent as being in a state of lack, worrying about finances, worrying about things that aren't in your life right now. Mm, yeah I'm gonna pull these the other way around because you've got your root chakra here which is your sense of security and stability and basic needs sitting right next to envy and you've got the message to be the thinking woman so girls being very balanced and rational guys it can represent a physical person to you uh, any other guidance around this state of lack 
Mm. Spirit's saying you got to take action. You got to take steps yourself to co-create your abundance. Keep moving forward because you are the magician in your own life. Yeah, you have the power to turn anything around. Uh, let's have a look at the garden and the gate up here. This state of procrastination. Oh, for some of you, it's related to opening up the door to romance, to letting love into your life. All right, let's have a look at trust here. Mm. Spirit saying trust that the sun's going to come out. There's going to be this beautiful shift in renewed hope, optimism, your plans working out perfectly. Mm, three here. Some of you definitely have an attachment holding yourself back. How you're looking at things, what you're saying to yourself, perhaps not taking the action you need to take. Because you've got the door to value that wants to open for you. Money flying through the door, but you've got to show the universe what you want, take action. Uh, you know, you're in the driver's seat of your own life, Cancer. And uh, a need for you to be in balance in all aspects of self. Yeah, because there's lots of opportunities, lots of ways of solving your problems that perhaps you're not seeing right now. Let's have a look at this attachment. Oh, you got the thinking man. So same message for guys and girls. Get out of your emotions, take the blinkers off, see the truth in situations and be very balanced and rational about the action you need to take. For some of you, what's channeling through is that there could be money owed to you and you're being the nice person about it, but you need to actually ask for it and to step up and ask people that owe you money to give it back to you right, or to pay their bills or there's, that's channeling through around your finances. Maybe you're being too generous with your time, your energy, your money. Mm -hmm. Love to know if that resonates. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at this top row about being very flexible, taking some time out for self, your blessings coming in. Some of you about opening up the door to romance. Um, you got Maeve, cycles and rhythms. Again, watching your energy levels, taking time out when you need to. And for others, there's a big focus on your home. Uh, doing up your home, creating a sense of stability around your home environment, possibly moving, buying, selling, relocating. Let's have a look at seeing the truth in storms, relying on your strength, building up your energy levels, got your friendships here. Oh, you're going through this beautiful transformation, Spirit saying. Some of you stepping more into your personal power, creating more balance in your life. Yeah, because this is flying out. I need to put healthy boundaries in place with people around your time and your energy. And to focus on doing some things in your time off that are creative, whether it's music, uh, whether it's the arts. Not, it's not all being about work, yeah. All right, let's have a look at finding that inner peace, trust in yourself, taking action where you need to take action. Oh, Wow. You've got a true love in your life or coming in. And Spirit's saying when it comes to the things that you want to achieve, particularly even it's related to your finances, you need to be very focused, yeah? Take steps, action, move yourself forward. All three reading, all three reading. And you've got Isis, past life memories surfacing that are holding you back in the now can be deeply rooted, they could be karmic, meaning generational, so beliefs that you're holding on to that really are not serving you, that are from your parents or your grandparents, just being imprinted on you. Whatever's holding you back is a past life situation, yeah, around possibly values or that needs to shift. Particularly it's related to your money. All right, let's have a look at trusting that things are going to turn out okay. Mm -hmm. You've got Aphrodite, which is your inner god or goddess, which is really appreciating yourself, doing things around self-care, pampering yourself. And get near bodies of water if you can. It's going to be soothing and healing and rejuvenating for your energy. I was at the beach this morning. I've got to say it was just gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck, which is a healing deck. Having a look at this top row about being very flexible, tapping into your energy levels, your energy flows. Beautiful blessings coming in. Yeah. When you do that, there's this renewal of peace coming into your world. Things are going to smooth out, Spirit's saying. All right, let's have a look at this transformation you're going through, seeing the truth in situations, putting healthy boundaries in place with people around your energy. Mm. 
So they're saying doing meditation would be really good for you, particularly guided meditations. I'll link in the guided meditation playlist that's on my channel. It's about 100 in there now. Uh, none of this cross-legged sitting stuff. Lay down, relax, let the beautiful um, healing energies of the music and the, the beats come to you, yeah. There's some really gorgeous ones in there. And some of you are going through a bit of a spiritual awakening, which is tapping more into your spiritual side, your spiritual practices. All right, let's have a look at finding inner peace. <laughs> Take an action where you need to. There's a true love here. Releasing attachments. Yeah, Spirit's saying everything's leading you to joy or opening up to more, creating more joy in your life. And again, your creativity's come out. It's come out twice. Doing things that are creative. All right, let's have a look at having trust that things are going to turn around for you. Treating yourself with kindness. Okay, you got ACMA in communication. So it tells me, Cancer, that you need to voice your concerns, communicate clearly what you can and cannot do in relation to your energy, your boundaries. And you've got these beautiful new beginnings happening in your life in quite a few different areas, I've got to say. Your creativity, love. All right, let's put some guidance from the messenger, Oracle. What does a cancer need to know? Got two here. Oh God. You pulled respect your boundaries again. <laughs> On steroids. <laughs> Stay strong. Strength again. You some of you really need to. If you're not used to putting healthy boundaries in place with people, spirit's saying you need to learn to do that and stand in your strength. Yeah. Even if you don't feel it, you've got to stand in your strength and put boundaries in place around your time and your energy. Mm. And to reveal your truth, take the mask off and just be naturally who you are. Accept all parts of self, particularly your creative side. And to know that we're all connected. So we all go through similar things in life. Um, they might be slightly different experiences, but we're all connected. We're also connected to spirit, to Mother Nature, to animals, to humans. Mm. And to have courage, courage and strength. Particularly with these new beginnings, particularly with asking for what you want, particularly with putting healthy boundaries in place. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. Which what's coming through strongly is your emotions and your energy. Oh, your third eye chakra has come through. So again, that's the third message to trust your intuition. <laughs> Guided med meditations come out again. Oh, hello. So in touch with spirit right now. And your physical body needs attention. So your nutrition, taking care of self, uh, you know, if you're just on this whole hyperdrive of you've got so much to do, you've got to, spirit saying you've got to stop cancer and take some time out for self, yeah? Get in touch with nature. Do some physical exercise. Just move your body. Um, some of you need to rest and lay down and do some meditation and just unwind. All right, let's have a look at your spirit guidance. Who are you connected to in the spirit realm? Your divine gifts and talents. Oh, your psychic abilities are really strong right now. Um, some of you have the gift of being a seer. S double E E R. Yeah, because there's so much here about your intuition. Mother Earth is definitely coming out. Big need for you to connect to Mother Earth. Ooh, and some of you are connected to ancient Greece in a past life. So if you feel that pull to ancient Greece, confirmation. It's kind of exciting. All right, let's have a look at your life path guidance. Oh, you know what? Before this came out, I just knew that as I was shuffling this deck that this was going to come out. Work-life balance is important. Hello. <laughs> oh, such a strong message coming out. You've got to create more balance in your life. Mm, and your communication skills are one of your best assets. So your ability to communicate a vision, communicate what you want, um, great personal skills with others. And you love helping others, but sometimes, Cancer, you do too much, way too much, and you've got to pull that energy back. All right, let's pull your message from the healing angels. 
Because what happens, right, is when we keep doing that, we're going to crash and burn. So everybody else might be getting a bit of the pie in terms of your energy, but you may crash and burn. You pulled integrity. Be flexible. Hello, first card, one of the first cards you pulled. But also be true to you. Stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe in you. So speak up. Express your boundaries. People will respect you. All right. Squeeze some guidance from the uh, healing deck. What is it that Cancer needs to know right now? Got two here. Mm. Wow. I have to say this first one hasn't come out in a very long time, if ever. You've pulled self-sabotage, which means you trip yourself up. Um, you know, she's it's dealing with the shadow side of self, you know, fears coming up that hold you back, that constantly hold you back, whereas spirit saying you need to speak up. There's an owl in the background which is trusting your own inner wisdom and seeing the truth in situations. You gotta ask yourself, where do I self-sabotage? Is it in relationships? Is it in my work? Is it not asking for what I need or want? Is it not putting healthy boundaries in place? Is it allowing fear to overrun me? Yeah. Where do you self-sabotage yourself? Perhaps you're saying to yourself you're not good enough. Yeah. And it's come out with home. Again, so home has come out quite strongly. So a focus on creating a beautiful oasis. What does home mean to you? Creating that sense of beautiful sense, stability. I mean, home is wherever your heart is, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's pull your... Final energy from the Precious Gems Oracle. Mm. Wow. You've pulled Aquamarine. Now, you've pulled Aquamarine twice. Twice, right? So Aquamarine can represent the throat chakra, definitely. Um, in terms of this deck, it's about clarity and compromise. So finding clarity on what you need to take action on uh, where can you compromise and where can't you compromise where is your health being affected or your stress levels being affected by the energies of others the demands on your time where can you i mean she's very clear and focused yeah so how do you find that clarity and focus you know, often it's looking at whatever's challenging us in our life the most is where you need to find that compromise and balance and clarity, yeah. All right, my loves, those are the messages that I have for you. Love to hear how it resonated with you, this reading, your feedback, your comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join our community. Take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.